Collectors. You guys heard me right. That's Pokemon Collectors and Investors. In today's video, we're going to be talking about if I was starting over for pretty much just investing purposes, a thousand dollar budget, what would I get? It's just kind of a fun little idea I had. So let's just jump straight into it. So I'm going to give you guys a few options, but first off, right? So I'm going to go for a sealed case of something from Scarlet and Violet. Now, these have risen just a little bit, even today. They were uh, on eBay, like five. Anyways, this is what they're at now, so but it is what it is. I might be able to make an offer and get this, including tax for like 600 shipped, which would be pretty good. So Scarlet and Violet base, it's one of the best bases we've ever gotten. I, I don't care what you guys say. It really is. But if you don't like it, that's that's okay. That's okay. I would get a case of Paradox Rift. It's actually a little bit cheaper. Okay, so same thing. The cheapest you can get this if you can get this around six hundred out the door. You're looking, uh, you're looking real good. Okay, so I would go a sealed case, and I'll tell you guys why. We're gonna jump over here. So this is a profit margin calculator because uh, I'm not that good at math. Say you're in six hundred bucks, it goes to MSRP, which would be nine sixty. You're already up about 38 percent and i know ebay fees whatever we're not we're not going to get into that right now but i think that is an interesting proposition that just getting to msrp currently you would be up about 38 percent now let's talk about also if you wanted to get an involving skies box if it went if you got it at 650 and it went up to a thousand you still wouldn't even be up that same percentage let's say it goes to 200 a box which, if it sells out on the Pokemon Center, this is, we're talking, you know, probably a few years down the road, sells out on the Pokemon Center, I, I could, why couldn't this be 200 bucks? Well, you're up 50%. So, uh, history would indicate that this is very probable. So, that is why there is more potential upside with Scarlet and Violet booster boxes, specifically cases. You can sell them as a case, so you can piece them out however you'd like. All right. So, in addition, so say you spend your six. I'm going to say, for me... I'm going to get some uh, singles. Actually, we'll start with this. So if you want to do Scarlet and Violet or mix and match, you know, maybe diversify. I would pick up as many of these Gardevoirs in a PSA 10 as I possibly could, even at $100. There is no way that this stays below $100. I, this is just a personal belief that I, I like this card. I like the story of the artwork from uh, the Ralts to the Curlia to the Gardevoir. I don't see in my mind when I look at this, that there is any way that this doesn't go up to $150, $200. At least $150 is like minimum, right? So then you're already up quite a bit, 50%, okay? But I could see $180, $200 as well. We're talking, this is like not quick flips like yours down the road. Also, same thing with the Iron Valiant. So there's the, uh, the Gardevoir variant here. But uh, anyways, this card, same thing. I would get as many of these as I possibly could, or we can mix and match here with the uh, Roaring Moon. So sub 200, this one I'm less, um, made a little less bullish on, but I still, I still could see this. I'm just giving you guys another option. I would lean in more into this and this, but if you wanted to get one of these, so that would put you at like 200, so you'd be at 800, and then you could snag uh, two of these or two of these. So you can kind of mix and match that, but that would be my scarlet and violet approach. Now, if you guys wanted to go with a, uh, I'll give you a different option now, and this is going to be more sword and shield oriented, but I would get a sealed case of, this is a uh, crown Zenith ETBs. And because it's specialty set, I think the ETBs uh, for this product are king and I would get a sealed case if possible for as cheap as possible now on all these you might be able to find them cheaper elsewhere by all means get these cheaper elsewhere i just this was a quick scan of ebay right i'm not i'm not um going on the depths of the internet to find the best deals here i'm just showing you guys like what is available right now cases often have a premium for a reason if you can piecemeal out 10 individually then that's still good as well so but it might it might be long term might be easier to move a sealed case. So if you can get this for around that 600, like similar pricing, then 
uh, some for some singles to accompany it in a 10. Uh, this isn't from Crown Zenith, obviously. But uh, I've said in other videos before that I would pick up one of these for as cheap as possible. You can get this more around 300. I see the future floor for this card being no less than $500. I don't see how that's not possible. The artwork is too good. I don't care what the pop count is. If the Umbreon can be what it's at, surely char this Charizard, one of the greatest artworks of, for a Charizard we've ever gotten, can be $500 in the 10. That's a, that is a hill that I will die on, okay? So I just wanted to uh, make this quick video for you guys. It was just a little, uh, if I had $1,000 and I was starting over with my investment, I gave you guys a few options of what I would do. Scarlet and Violet or Sword and Shield. Now, that's not saying that there's not other ways to do it. And I could give you guys more options. If you guys want more options, more videos like this, you want higher budget, lower budget, uh, more diversified, let me know in the comments below. I, I'm happy to make them. It's just kind of a fun little different video. Uh, we can we can do all sorts of things. Just let me know in the comments. If you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you must have enjoyed the video enough to watch it. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.